Well, hey there, Aletheia Church. Hope that you guys are doing well in gospel community and enjoying your time together. I'm going to spend just a few minutes recapping my sermon from the second half of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 that I had entitled Orderly Worship. And one of the things I said at the beginning of that sermon was that uh, Paul's kind of point here at the end is that disorderly worship does not build up the church and so that they they really needed to focus on how they were bringing their gifts together and using them so that they could do them in an orderly manner that uh, built up and edified and encouraged one another uh, and so as he kind of as he kind of brings all this in um, the question he he kind of asks is, is how do we bring in this idea of gifts loving one another serving one another showing honor to one another uh, how do we bring all those things together and he answers that in verse 40 at the end where he says that um, that we do so decently and in order. And I hope you guys will spend some time unpacking what that means, but that, that's kind of um, his, his main point, and he builds to that as he goes through um, all of these verses. And then he gives a number of practical instructions for the church at Corinth, and I, I think some things that we can uh, even apply in our own context today in the local church on how the church can gather together and practically show order in the corporate worship setting. Uh, the first one was that uh, he believes that everyone should in fact come to church ready to use their gifts. Uh, meaning like we need to be ready when we gather together. Like when you come in on a Sunday morning, we're not there just to see our friends or whatever, we're there to worship God. Number two, um, that there was a proper order for speaking in tongues, and you guys can work through that together, but there's a, there's a full list of things there of things to think through if tongues are going to be used in the corporate worship gathering. Then he says that they're to observe the proper order for speaking prophetic words and how they need to think through those things if they're going to use them on a Sunday morning as well. And he says that ultimately this is because God is not a God of confusion but a God of peace. And there was a number of things going on inside of Corinth that could cause people to question whether God was in fact a God of order or not. And so you guys are going to spend some time talking about that tonight, talking about the specific issues that were going on inside of Corinth, but also maybe how we uh, tend to struggle with the same thing that Corinth did, maybe just manifesting itself in a different way. And hopefully it'll cause us to become uh, uh, introspective and honest and transparent with ourselves about how we view church and what God desires out of us when we gather to worship him. Um, and then ultimately, right, Paul says that, that prophecy needs to be weighed and tested, and there's a way to, to work through that, but that our ultimate authority is the word of God. Later on tonight, I hope you guys will break off into groups to pray together, and I hope that you'll kind of observe that same pattern we did during our reflection time on Sunday, that you'll spend some time looking back together on God's faithfulness to each and every one of you, that you'll spend some time looking inward, confessing and repenting of sin, and asking God for forgiveness, but also asking uh, one another to hold each other accountable, that you'll look up, that you'll worship God together for his goodness and what he's done for us in Christ, and then that you'll look around, that you'll share prayer requests with one another and pray for one another and look for opportunities to encourage one another. Guys, I hope that this is helpful. I hope that uh, your time in gospel community will encourage you and will remind you of God's love for you in Christ and will lead all of us to worship him uh, both decently and in order. I love you guys. Have a wonderful week. Go and be the church.